So I just found this beautiful, beautiful, I love the lines on it, green glass vase. It is gorgeous. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved. I am back with another picking video for you guys today. Um, if you can't see in the background, I'm back at the bins. Um, I did so well on Friday, so I thought I'd come back up. It's Tuesday, so I waited a few days. Um, but I thought I would see if I could find some more treasures since I did so well. So let's go inside and see what we can find. It's sunny and beautiful out today. Hopefully we can find some treasures. I see people coming out with carts of stuff, so I wonder what time they open. I thought they didn't open till 10, but maybe they open at nine. Maybe I'm late. I don't know. Okay, so I just looked at the sign and they do open at nine, so. I'm an hour late, that's okay. It's not very really busy in here. Oh, do you guys see this? Right when I first came, what is this? It's a broken butterfly wing, a lucite butterfly wing. That's so sad. Well, so far I've made it down. <laughs> so far I've made it down one aisle. I have not. I just got here. This is my first aisle. Oh. Sloth is cute. There's a bunch of books. I got a bunch of books the last time. These are all hardback ones. I wonder if there's any old Stephen King in here. I'm gonna dig and I'll let you guys know if I find any. So I just found this Viking glass candle holder. But unfortunately it's got a big old, it's got a chip right there. And I only found one, so. So I have to tell you, I don't really have any high hopes because I've already went down quite a bit of aisles and this is all I've found so far. A cute little chicken or turkey or hen dish. A little March girl. She is a Lefton. And Stephen King book. And then two little Inesco girls. 
that's it in a Rudolph book. That is all I found. So I have today is I don't know. I don't really have high hopes. Last time I came at 10, an hour late, and I still got a bunch of stuff, but they kept bringing out new bins. This time they brought out any new bins. I just found this, but I don't think I'm gonna get it because it's, it looks and feels cheap. It's, it's neat, it's a little, Trinket box, but it's like basically falling apart. So I don't know, guys. Just junk in books today. Ew. So I just found this and it is a Sensi. And I opened it up and it's complete. So I'm going to put it in my cart and then plug it in and see if it works. And then I also have this. It's like a really neat copper tray. So that's two things in one bin. Oh my goodness. under the glass. That's too bad. That's old. That's really old. And I believe that's underneath the glass. That is a bummer. Adorable. It's a bunny driving a car with no wheels, but he's missing a wheel. I mean, he has his wheels, but one. He's missing one. But that's so cute. I have to tell you guys, I'm still not finding nothing. box. 
it'd be really heavy. I don't know if they separate variables here. Hey, I did just find, I don't think I'm gonna get these because they weigh a ton and wouldn't be chipped. But the box is cool. That's neat how they're still in the box. But I did find these um, wood birds of flight. They're up, like, they need repainted. And I don't think I'm gonna repaint them. They're just cheaply made. So they're gonna stay behind. This is a giant glass punch bowl. I've never seen one that big ever. That is huge. OMG. You can't even know that. Retro photo album. I really like it. It's, it's uh, I've seen, I don't know where I've seen it at now. I thought I've seen something on it, but maybe not. It's just empty. It's very retro. I like it, so I'm gonna think about it. Oh, right there. That's what. One little dent in it. This is really neat, but it's got a lot of wear right there in that one spot. It's really neat. It doesn't weigh very much. Here's a vintage flash cam. trash cans I need to get listed but that's cool. I don't know about this because it's got that. I've just never seen one like this before. I'm leaving it. It's cool but I'm leaving it. like the animatronics toys so I his batteries I don't know if he's got batteries in him or not let's check it out no batteries but the battery compartment looks really good so I'm definitely gonna get him he's a nice find after really not finding anything oh my gosh now I can get the thing on Look at this old, old baby I just found. She's old. And she's, she th sucks her thumb. So she's going to go on. No tag. It looks like something that's from the 70s. I think so. I think it's adorable. Would you take that little skull? Yes. Okay. I don't care, but my daughter. I did. No. I think that they, I wish they would just get rid of that rule. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't care when somebody's like crowding you out. Space. Yeah. Like, you guys want to watch people go nuts? Watch these people dig in these bins. 
Oh wait, they're not going nuts like I thought that they would. They're going slow, they're gonna take their time. Some guy just cut in front of me, I was waiting in line, and he cut in front of me. I was like, how rude. So I just found this beautiful, beautiful, I love the lines on it, green glass vase. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, but, and I found some silver plate, or not silver plate, I mean sterling silver candle holders, there's two of them. And some stuff to put on eBay, so that is my cart. I just waited, it's about 20 pounds, so we'll probably just do the haul video with this video. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we made it back from the bins and I spent a total of $32. So let's get right into the haul. Okay guys, like I said, I spent a total of only $32 exactly because I rounded up a little bit. It was my total was like 31 something, but I usually always round up, but um so $32 what is what I spent total on all the stuff. So I'm going to show you everything I got now. The first thing was this Scentsy in a box. Now this is awesome. I did put a light bulb in it and plug it in and it does work. And it is, I was really actually surprised that this was still in the bins with there being as many resellers as there was. But this is Bless This Home. There we go, I had it on wrong. Um, bless This Home House. And like I said, it works. I looked these up online and I will put comps up there to show you what they sell for on eBay. So I did pretty well with that one. That was exciting to find that. Um, then I picked up this book for my mom. Ghost and Hauntings. She loves old books like this. She likes to read um, stories and stuff about ghosts and hauntings, and she loves scary movies and stuff, so I thought she would love that, and I showed it to her, and she does, so that's gonna go with her. Then I picked up this cute little um, chicken dish. It, what is that stamped? It is stamped something on the bottom. I just can't read it because I have my contacts in. And I don't know. It is stamped something, though, right there. But I thought that was so cute. Just a cute little chicken dish. No chips or cracks. Really, really cute. Then I picked up this little Irish coffee cup. I Like I said a few times in my last video um you don't see saint patty's day stuff very much and i picked this up and it is um a leftin it is leftin so i just thought that would be cute for saint patty's day so i'm gonna put that back for saint patty's day then i just picked up this cute little frog he is a home co frog but he's adorable i just thought he would make a cute little accent piece so no chips or cracks. He's the only one I could find in there. Usually these would come in like a set of three or four, but I could only find him, so. But I didn't want to leave him behind because he's a cute little guy and he barely weighs anything. And then I got these cute little Inesco. Um, they remind me of like Thanksgiving, kind of, the colors. They're cute little Inesco girls, two of them. And they both have their original stickers on the bottom that say Inesco, so I thought those were cute. And then I picked up this. Now, I don't know what this originally was for. It has a hole in the bottom, you know. I thought it might have been a candle holder of some sort, but I don't know. But I picked it up because, I will show you really quickly. Um, I picked it up because when I was at the flea market uh, in Wachira a while back, I picked up this and it was just the base, the lady, or the top. The lady said she had just broke the base. 
unfortunately, and this one is Fenton and it is signed. You can see it is signed in there. Oops, right in there. But it is a Fenton top, very, very pretty. So I thought, how adorable, a little mini fairy lamp, you know? It barely weighed anything and I just think that's so cute. It could be like a marriage. Some people may like it, some people may not. I just thought that was cute. And then I found silver. It's, I found sterling silver. Okay, so I found two of these. They were both of them in a little bag like this. And I'm like, huh, I wonder what those are. And I pulled them out. These were in the new bins. And I pulled them out and I seen them. And I'm like, ooh, those look like silver. And so I turned them over and they are stamped. Ooh, they are stamped. Sterling, um, I think it says AMC or PMC. I don't, I can't read it. I'm going to have to look it up. Weighted 845. So I'm assuming these are silver. I still forgot to look them up. So if I find anything, if they are silver, I will put it up here. I'll say yes or no. But I believe they are because they're marked Sterling. So there's these two that were in the bags. They each had their own bag. And then there's these. And these also say, oh, these say something a little bit different on the bottom. These say Sterling. Oh, and then a, the brand, and I cannot read the brand for the life of me. Sterling something. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. I think I may have found some silver in the bins. That would be awesome. Then I found this guy. Now, he is adorable. He is a pottery. He is a salt or pepper. Um, and there, unfortunately, there was only just one. But, I again, I couldn't leave him behind. I did look this brand up. And they do sell for pretty good money. It is B-R-I-G... I don't know. I can't see it because I have my H N. I think B R I G H N maybe. And I can't remember, but I'll put comps up there for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. But cute little pottery guy. Okay. Then I picked up this cute little vintage Florida toothpick holder. No chips or cracks. It's just a little tiny toothpick holder, so. Then I picked up this vintage trash can. I'm always picking up vintage trash cans. I have a bunch. I need to get them listed because they do sell. And look at the design on that one. And this one is orange in really good condition. It's not dirty or anything. So I like that design. And I love this trash can. <laughs> then... This is probably my favorite thing that I found in the bins. I was so surprised it did not have any chippies on it. Um, well, I take that back. It's got a tiny little flea bite right there. But that's it. Look at the lines on this. Isn't that gorgeous and fabulous? I don't know who made it. I'm not for sure. It's thicker glass. It is thicker glass. I love it. It just reminds me of the... Wizard of Oz for some reason, like Emerald City, and the way the lines are shaped. I just love it. <laughs> so that's probably my favorite find. Um, I did find a Rudolph book. I it, This one isn't old, but it's just too, it was too cute to leave behind. Um, this would look perfect in any Christmas display, and it is Rudolph's second Christmas. So, and then I will tell you the copyright is, oh, it does say first edition, by the way. Um, and the copyright, I'm not seeing it. Because the only copyright I see is offhand is 1951, and that is not right. This book is not that old. But it's cute. It's got some cute, cute stories in it, so 
cute. I got that. Then I got this and I opened it up and it's still all wrapped in its plastic. So it's just new open box. Um, I will put comps up here so you guys can see what they sell for because they sell for, they do sell. I mean, uh, for okay money. For what I spent, only spending $32 at the bins. I think I did good. And this also, I will put comps up here for this. You know, you're like, oh, that is old. Um, that probably wouldn't sell. You'd be surprised. That's a tip for you guys. When you're at the bins and you see something in the box and then take it out and it still looks in really good shape, look it up. There's no, um, there's no barcode to scan, but I just looked up wide builds beautiful body or wider builds beautiful bodies. Joe Wider's five minute body shaper on eBay. And I was surprised to see that they do sell and they do sell for pretty good money. So that is a tip for you guys. Then I found this and I love this. Look how funky and vintage and retro this photo album is. It is just a vintage photo album where you see you would put your photos behind the plastic, but it doesn't have any pictures in it. You could put whatever you want in it. You could use this for junk journaling. Um, I don't know. You could do whatever you want with it, but I love it. I love the style. I think it is absolutely amazing. So that is fun. That was a fun find. Oh, and then I found this cute little baby. Oh, look how adorable she is. I could not leave her behind at all. Look at her little face. She's old. I, I think somebody might have made her a long time ago. Her bottle is like been split in half, but if it wasn't split in half, like see, she could drink her bottle. Oh, and I just think she's so stinking cute. I just think it's adorable. And then like her little pixie hat. Oh. <laughs> Then I got this. Now I need to put batteries in this to see if this works. Um, let me see. Actually, I have batteries right here. So let's try it really quickly. I will just take them out of the TV remote real quick. That works. Just to test it. Okay. does work. He's got like rubber hands and a rubber face. And if you squeeze his hand, he stops. So that is pretty cool. He does work. All right. And he plays the Charlie Brown Christmas song when they're around the Christmas tree. Oh, I love Charlie Brown Christmas. What did I do with that? Oh, there it is. I don't want to lose this back here. Cool. That's awesome that that works. That makes me happy. Now if I can get the back back on here. Oh my goodness. You know what? I will work on that in a minute. To the rest of the haul. Okay. Then I got this vintage... Um, I don't know how old it is, but it is a, a windsock, you know, like a windsock thing. It is round, but it's, it's Santa and it has like streamers, red, white, and so the, I thought this was so cute and adorable and it barely weighs anything. And I like these vintage windsock, um, windsock things. I think they're neat. 
Okay, then I found this cute little like copper tray type thing. It is copper. Let's see it on the back. And I like the design on it. I just thought it was a cute little neat tray. And then it's got little feet. Three little feet on there. So I liked it. I picked up a stack of vintage bingo cards. I love these. These are good for package toppers, assemblages. Um, uh, you could do it, a lot of different things with these. So I picked up those. There's like a whole stack. Then I just threw these in my cart because they don't weigh anything. And I thought they would be like cute to add to like, um, you know, like a mystery box. I'm, I'm going to do a mystery box soon with a bunch of just a uh, different little things in it and I thought this would be cute to add in there. It's just like a little egg or a tea bag strainer. I mean it's shaped like an egg but it's like a tea bag. Little tea bag strainer. And then same with this little colonnade. Like enameled tray type thing. It's like metal. It's got the enamel design on there. And these are mine, because they're always coming up missing. If you guys don't have these, these are amazing. Um, they are just like chip clips from Pampered Chef. And they just close your bags. So these are mine, I'm keeping them. <laughs> then I picked up this cute little girl. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is a leftin. And she is a little March girl. Look at her four leaf clovers in her hat. And she says March. I love this because, again, you do not find very many St. Patty's Day stuff. And I found her. And she is a left. And she does have um, one little chip underneath her dress. But if, when she's sitting forward, you can't even really tell. So. I just think it's cute. And she's got a rough spot right there. Just one little rough spot. It feels like it didn't get glazed over, but I love it. I thought it was so cute and it was left in. Other than the chippy, she's in really good shape. And then I picked up two Stephen King books. So I need to get these listed. Um, I'll probably just list these on Facebook Marketplace, both of them together. I mean, the, you know, the cover has been, it isn't in the best shape, but people like to read these, especially like right now. So, I mean, there's not going to be huge main money makers, but they're books. They can ship cheap. This one is, I have no idea. I don't know. I cannot find a copyright date. But anyway, Stephen King's Misery and Stephen King's The Gunslinger. I've never heard of this one before. And then I got this book and I just thought this would be good to put back for like fourth of a fourth of july sale or something it is a hardback i love the graphics on the cover and it is in pretty good shape red sails to the capri it is and again i'm not going to be able to find a copyright date on this one i don't know why i cannot find copyright dates but anyways there it is I got this. I just, it just caught my eye. I've had a, a lot of um, Dynamite magazines, and they sold for um, pretty good money. So I'll probably put this on Facebook Marketplace um, and see if I can sell it there. But I just thought that was cute. Magic Wanda's Dynamite Magic Book. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got that I love and I was debating on. I weighed my cart with it in it and then I took it out and weighed my cart without it. And it only weighed, it said it at the bins, it only weighed two pounds, but then when I brought it home, it weighs 2.8 pounds. 
but it is so it's heavy it is a um metal jewelry box with all kinds of design i love the red velvet in the mirror in there i just think that is awesome and i love the design of it no there's no maker mark on it so i don't know it might have had something like right there but i don't there's i don't know i don't know if that's how that was made or i like the feet and it's heavy so i picked it up i thought that was very nice find all right guys that was my haul like i said i only spent 32 dollars on all that stuff so i did pretty well um, as always, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. Um, all lowercase letters. The link is in the description below as well. And I also list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links will be in the description below as well. But most things I sell in my live sales. Um, I do my live sales. I'm going to do them every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. So Monday and Tuesday evenings. Um, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that haul. I know this has been kind of a long video. Um... But I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Goodbye, guys. Remember to be kind. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.